Good afternoon, you guys. So if you're just tuning in today for the first time, um, I made a promise to my viewers from yesterday's video that um, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite drinks in the whole wide world. Now, this thing about this drink is, it, the drink is, is that this drink isn't made anymore. It is, we can say, extinct. The drink is extinct. Now, I'm going to show you how to make Sprite Remix, or later renamed as Tropical Sprite Remix. Because, as you know, back, I think, in, like, 2004-ish, they stopped making it. But it was big back in, like, 02 and 03. I remember going to sleepovers and eating that. Or drinking Kansas uh, Sprite Remix with sour Skittles. It sounds lovely, doesn't it? But anyway, you can replicate the taste. It's not perfect, but it's, it comes with an added bonus. So, you only need, really, two things. A can of Sprite. And this thing I like to call emergency. Now, this thing I like to call emergency is called emergency, actually. Um, it's actually their vitamin C, um, like, little packets. They come in. You can get them in this, like, you get them at Whole Foods. I think at Publix, he's even has it, or Kroger in their, like, health food section. But they, you can buy, like, boxes of them like this, and it's, like, $10 or $7 to $10 for a box. Or you can buy individual little packets. And you want to look for the tropical one. It says a flavored fizzy drink mix. And the, good, the bonus about this is, while it's not Sprite Remix like you might remember, this is Sprite Remix, this is going to be Sprite with this tropical mixture to make it taste pretty damn close to Sprite Remix with the added bonus of vitamin C. So if you're sick, have one of these. We'll call it the Sprite Remix Vitamin C Edition. Haha, it's clever, right? Okay, so let's see what happens. Now the other trick is to find a cup that is big enough because you want the ratio to be one can, one packet. In other words... You don't want to use half of a packet, or half of a packet for the whole can, or half the can in the whole packet. It'll just taste kind of weird. So, real, and the key thing too is, as as many of you have probably mixed like poured powdered stuff in drinks before, it's key to put the powder in first because if you put the water in or the sprite in, then put the uh, powder thing in, it's going to explode all over the place, and it'll be disgusting, and you don't want to clean all that mess up. So it's key to put this in first. Put this in first. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to open this up right now. So we're just gonna see. We're like, Ugh. all right, I'm just gonna do that. You know, it's oh, it's a nice little packet comes with easy to open little slits. You just pour it right in there. It's a nice pinkish color. And then you just want to open up the can of Sprite, tap it on a few times on the top. It's that's that is key. That will explode over the place if you don't do it that way either. Did that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, so then you're just like, oh, what's up? Let's pour this in here. Oh, oh yes. And see, it fizzes even more than usual because we have the extra... Oh, don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. Save it. Ah, saved. Now, also, the last step is to mix it up because it'll taste weird if you don't. Again, with any powdered drinks, like probably most of you, if not all of you, have made before powdered drinks. Powdered Sprite Remix. I'm just gonna mix it up like this. Oh, la, la, la. I use a knife, a dull butter knife, as my choice of mixture mixing. It's also good to, um, just an emergency tip, it's good if you, you guys ever work out, it's good to have an emergency after you work out. It just um, boosts your body back up to normal. But don't have it with Sprite because I don't know how good it would to have Sprite, a sugar drink, after you work out. Remember, again, you need a can of Sprite. A uh, thing of tropical, whatever this is called, emergency, tropical flavor emergency, again, comes in this box. Buy it at Publix, Kroger, or, I don't know, Whole, Food, Whole Foods has it actually cheaper than Kroger and Publix. And then, oh, the other key ingredient is... Vodka! No, I'm just kidding, guys, it's ice, actually. Because you need ice for this. Ice is very important. You just plop some cubes in there, and then you're good to go. Also, I should say, I've had this with, like, the bottle of Sprite, which is, you know, a bottle of Sprite's a little bit more than this, and that works fine, too. You just don't want to have too little Sprite and too much of the, um, powder. And the more, I guess, the, the closer it is to a can to a pack, the more it'll taste like Sprite Remix. Ah, uh, rest in peace, Sprite Remix. Rest in peace. I mean, honestly, you guys, that is pretty dang close to a Sprite Remix. I don't know how much closer you can get until Coke releases it again. So please, Coke, please release Sprite Remix again. Also, a bottle of Sprite, I don't mean the two-liter bottle. I mean, like, the bottle you get from the vending machine. The two-liter, you'll probably need at least two things if you want to make a whole two liters of this. So, but there you go, you guys. It tastes like Sprite Remix. You are set to go. And it's a healthy alternative, too, so it's like a healthy snack. Yay for healthy living! <laughs> Who remembers this website right here? 
Now, it, I had to use, like, the Internet Wayback Machine to get the original site, because they have it now, but it's the Hamster Dance. And by using, it's like, there's a website where to type an Internet Time Machine on Google, and you can go to any website and, like, see it in the past, like, before it was updated. I don't know how they do that. But some things don't work, like some links are broken, and as you know, there should be a song playing, so the song is, the links for some songs are broken. But, you know, if you just easily click on this little button right here, help, I can't hear the music, open a new tap, and then... Three, two, one. Oh, wait, we gotta make the load around. Oh. Ah, uh, look at the hamster dance. What's up? What's up? Let's do it again. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Now that's gonna be stuck in your head all day. That's It's cool, though. You know, it's a hamster dance. It's worth it. The hamster dance. This is the South. This is Atlanta, Georgia. ATL. Look out. You know what I think my favorite part of that clip? Look out! Guys, you know what that is? That's right at the corner of my high school. That was right at the corner of my high school. Back to our, oh, it's double R. I spelled it wrong, right? La Paria. See, Caitlin's here. What's up, Caitlin? What's up, Caitlin? She's in her green emo hoodie. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so it's Taco Tuesday plus one tonight. Get it? Because it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. This is not clever. I'm so stoked on this. I've been craving Mexican food. For so long, we're here with also some other friends, but you'll see them eventually in the vlog. You'll see them probably the next shot, like right about now. Ready to film him? Seductive chip eating. Uh, and very, very smart. He's transferring to Tampa Spring of next year. He wants to get his bachelor's in economics. I feel creepy doing this. Why not? All right, Caitlin's turn. Oh no, oh no, what's happening? Yeah, she's got the salsa. Oh, oh no, oh no, don't laugh. I'm trying not to break character. You can talk to me after. I'll just pull them into the boyfriend part. Oh yeah. Seductive chippy. That's what's up. Cut, cut. Can you see anything? No. Guys, can you hit that around the corner? I think it's a birthday? Birthday. I think it's birthday. <laughs> I hear Caitlin in the background. I think she said, I just had to unzip my no. shirt. But she said, I had to unhook my shoe. Yeah, but That's pretty close, actually. I can't really, when Caitlin talks, I think there's something between us that's just, I can't hear her. I just can't comprehend what she's saying. So I think she's saying dirty things, but she's really not. I don't know what happened to you guys. I think an accident, oh, an accident, cleaning up an accident. Look at them lights. Me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not driving. I'm just filming stuff, you guys. Look, this is interesting. Don't you guys want to see this? Mm. Say yes. Not y'all, the internet friends. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Followers, fans, fans. This is like a oh a rave. <laughs> rave vision. So this is. I really want that. It's a Blu-ray collection of just Terminator 2. But it's $130, you get so many things. It's so cool, I want that so bad. Okay, so the gamer of Blu-ray menu, like, look, Atlanta, 55 degrees. That's our legit weather. It's like porn websites, it's like, hey, I'm in Atlanta. I know. Yeah, it is like porn websites. But it's cool, it knows the weather. And it knows what time it is too. That's creepy. So we just watched Gamer, realized I love that movie. Sean, what'd you think of the movie? It's good. It's good? What'd you guys think of Gamer? I liked it. You liked it? I thought it was cool. Look at that, two yeah. girls actually like that movie. Oh my god! <gasps> oh my See, god! So shocking! Again. Okay, sarcasm again. That was sarcasm. Circle, Circle that. Circle. You know, have you guys heard about swirly the sarc- Sorry, swirly that's a sarcasm punctuation mark that they're trying to get past. It's like $2 to download online. It's a Are dot- past? Past Congress? Yeah, in Congress. <laughs> it's supposed to be like worldwide. Congress, government. It looks like that. That's a um, sarcasm mark. So if you start seeing that around- you know somebody's being sarcastic, but really that kind of just defeats the purpose, and it's kind of stupid, if you ask me. You just gotta learn. Just learn when somebody's being sarcastic, which for me is pretty much all the time. 